Alrighty guys, welcome back to the Good Good Labs channel and welcome to Kansas City. We are out here today at Sunflower Hills on the range and I wanna talk about early extension. That is a very popular word in today's game and I'll explain it really quick what it means. If you were to draw a line here, say you get in your posture and you were to draw a line going straight up here and your butt's against it. If you come off that line and your hips move forward, that is considered early extension. Your hips are moving forward, you're extending a little bit too early in the golf swing. And a lot of the time it's caused by when you get up to the top and you throw the angle here, you cast, you have to stand up to create room or you'll hit it fast. So from this view, it'd look like this. You would have to stand up and get out of the way. That's why the hips would early extend because you've lost your angle. Instead of what we wanna do is maintain our rotation and bend and extend later in the golf swing. So the goal for today is to give you guys some tips to notice if you are early extending and how to fix it because a lot of people do it and they don't all know that they're doing it but if you guys are throwing the angle here, most, of the, most likely if you're throwing it here, you're early extending to create room. So we wanna get it where you're nice and shallow, you're staying in your posture and you're rotating. So you're almost pushing back here with the butt. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm working on because I do fight early extension in my golf swing, so I can help you guys out a little bit, let's go. All right, so one of the best drills you guys can feel if you're trying to get rid of early extension is when you're on your downswing here, you're feeling like your butt is actually, you're pushing down into this right hip right here on your downswing. You're pushing back and then around. So you're basically pushing your butt back on your downswing. There's a very famous video of Tiger Woods on the range and he's basically just doing this. He's going up to the top and he's going like this. Tiger Woods was working on that really hard. He wants to maintain his posture. He doesn't want to let the lower body shoot towards the ball. This is the exact move they're trying to get away from is this, standing up and the hips moving towards the ball. This is a very weak impact position and I see that with tons of golfers. So I'm gonna hit a couple shots here really working on pushing my butt back in the downswing. Making sure I'm staying in my posture. I'm keeping my angles here. Push back, rotate. Felt good. It's always something I'm trying to work on because in Good Good, Garrett and Micah, they stay in their posture better than anybody. And the rest of us, we all slightly early extend. It's just, it's a mobility thing a lot of the times. It can be strength, it can be a lot of issues. But most of the time, it's a, it's a big strength issue. Why people tend to early extend. How's that? Basically, if I create this angle on the downswing, the lag, I want to maintain that angle and stay in my posture. But if I were to throw it, if I do not stand up and get out of the way, I will hit it fat. From this view, it would look like this. If I were to throw it, I would hit back here. So what happens is when people do throw it, throw the club here, they have to stand up, like I've said, so they do not hit the ball fat. The goal is create an angle and stay in your posture and rotate. I'm gonna hit a couple more here. I'm really trying to dial this in because it's something that I really try and focus on in my golf swing, just making sure that I'm pushing back and around. Pretty good there. Let's hit another one. We're really gonna exaggerate it this time. There we go. That was the best one right there. And that just feels so much better because I'm staying in my posture. That is the key. When I go to tour events and I'm watching all the pros swing, whether it's Jordan Spieth, whether it's Dustin Johnson, any of the top level guys, you'll notice one thing. On their downswing, they never their hips do not move towards the ball. They do not do this, like the amateur golfers. They do not do this. They all push back and turn. Super stable, and they're just like robots. And that's how you get to that next level, guys, is making sure you're maintaining your spine angle and your posture. What is the best way to identify if someone's early extending in their golf swing? The best way to identify it is, you can look on your phone, and all you have to do is keep a point of reference. So, if you're taking a down the line video here, and you look at your, your butt here. You can either draw a line if you have the correct teaching app. You can draw a line right here, or, or you can pick a spot out in the background, but you're just making sure on the downswing that the hips are not coming off that line. This is the move that everyone's trying to get away from. You wanna see that lower body push back and then stay in there, stay in there, not towards the ball. That's where they lose it. So if you, if you guys have swing videos of yourself, you can just pick out a little point of reference and just watch your lower body and see if it moves off that line 
towards the ball. Let's hit a couple drivers here. We're gonna work on that same feeling. We're gonna push back and rotate. You're gonna start to notice it as you get higher up in your clubs that you're early extending more and more because longer clubs, they're gonna show your flaws more than a little wedge swing or anything. So let's hit a couple drivers here. Here we go. We're gonna work on the same thing. And this is a great video because this is something that I constantly work on behind the scenes. When I'm out here on the range, I'm trying to maintain my posture to create consistency. Everybody's searching for consistency in the golf swing. And I'm not kidding you, early extension and making sure you can eliminate it. Probably one of my biggest points I can give to anybody on how to become more consistent, staying in your posture. Pretty good. Pretty good there. That was, that was better. You really just gotta exaggerate it. You gotta do it as much as you can. Feel that lower body work back. A little better there, but guys, that is just, that just feels a lot different to me. And it's something that I just don't work on enough because I'll get onto the course and I'll forget about. It's just something that I know almost every golfer out there can try and do better because everybody tends to just early extend if you're not up at the higher levels where you're super consistent. So hopefully today's video did help you guys out a little bit. It's just one of those videos that I see in the comments. I see the word early extension. I see how to stop it. And I wanted to make that video today to just tell you exactly what it is and how you can stop it. But if you guys did enjoy that video, stay tuned for the next video coming out. Until next time, guys, peace out.